So I'm at the Glen Sound stand here at IBC 2019, one of two videos we're doing. And on this video, I'd like to particularly welcome back Mark Wilson. Hi, Mark. Hey, John. Nice to have a particular welcome. Is yeah, that, it's a particular welcome for is you. That, is that an upgrade? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, from a regular welcome, you can have a particular one. Uh, we're going to look at a particular product that you've got here. Uh, tell us about this, Mark. Well, this is called our Divine. Yeah. And this is a very interesting product. We spent a lot of time talking about at this show and a lot of people coming to find us just to look at the Divine. Um, it's a loudspeaker, it's a monitor, but it's an intelligent monitor. Um, and most interestingly, it is powered and connected via a single cable. Here we have an Ethernet cable. Um, and this is taking power and four audio channels to this speaker from a Dante network. So we have a Dante intelligent powered monitor. Because we're using the Ultimo chip, we have use of our four channels. Yep. So we can see on the front here a user can select a volume and select between the um, options of the four inputs. We can let them listen as a group if they're listening to stereo in pairs and they can also listen to all four at the same time. So simple controls and it's fairly um, straightforward at the moment, uh, but there's more to come. Firstly, we've got some very interesting mounting options on how you might use this. We have one here at the back shown on a visa mount. We have it on a standard uh, visa mount at the back to add a bit of mounting flexibility. And this one here is on a mic stand. We've got um, mic threads on the bottom uh, to allow us to mount it on mic stand. So it's, uh, it's quite flexible. Where it gets quite interesting is the extra functionality that we've added. Um, on the rear, we have a configuration screen. Um, and to get into that screen, it's quite easy. Um, we've got Morse code for G, which is, uh, is it dot, dot, dash, or dash, dash, dot, whichever it is to unlock our screen, which gets us into some really fun and interesting functions yep. that we can add. We have, um, apart from the obvious lineup tones, we have EQ for different types of speakers and, and voice control. Yep. We have a low frequency cut. Then we get to priorities. Now, what that means is on our uh, inputs here, we can set any of our other inputs from the one that you're listening to to be a priority over it or an interrupt. So that means if this is being used in a dressing room area or playing a program audio for a, uh, a commentator in a little commentator area, they can be listening to a program feed and the program controller director can use it as an interrupt for cues and updates to the uh, to a room or the users. So you have this inbuilt interrupt feature, all routable within the uh, Dante network and Dante controller, making this a very, very flexible unit uh, with that feature alone, just using it for, for interrupt. Um, if I return to the back for the further uh, setup options that we have here to show you what else we can offer as part, there's different, you can set options within the priority. The dim level, how quiet the speaker goes when the priority is activated. You can lock the buttons, buttons on the front completely uh, or limit the uh, inputs that are available. You can set how the inputs are mixed when you scroll through them. Uh, there's uh, gain options. We can lock the volume pot on the front. We can turn the end stop off, so if you need it to be always on yeah. and you don't want the users to be able to turn it off completely, we can do that as well. And we can limit the max volume. Then we have the meter mode here. Yeah. At the moment, we've got this one just showing um, where the inputs are, what you're listening to. Uh, at the back here, this one is set to bar graph, where we have the tricolor LEDs. Yeah. This is showing the bar graph meter of what you're listening to. And this one here is actually uh, set to individual PPM mode, where the meter... Uh, the LED is showing the metering information of that input only. Right. So you're able to set that. Yeah. It's a digital signal through. We take the Dante digital signal in, yeah. straight through some DSP, a digital line all the way in to our Class D digital amplifier for the best sound that we can get out of a, a box of this nature. Uh, and we call it Divine. Brilliant. Mark, amazing system. Uh, I've had a look at this before and it not only has amazing functionality, but genuinely does sound really good for something this size. Um, what's the availability of this unit? Uh, we are shipping as of the 13th, 14th of October. Fantastic. Now, obviously, people can come and see you here and have a good play around with these and listen here at IBC, but if they weren't able to get here and they want to find out more, what's the website they can go to? Uh, they can visit glensound.com. All our information will be there. Mark, thank you very much. There you have it. You want to have a look at uh, all the Glen Sound products, of which there are many. Go and have a look at their website, especially this amazing little speaker here from Glen Sound. For more from us here at IBC 2019, don't forget to check out kitplus.com. Mm -hmm.